everybody, how are you all doing today? Today, as you can tell by the title, it is time for a book haul. I may or may not have gone a little bit crazy with the book purchasing lately. I don't really have any regrets because first of all, these are all fabulous books and they all should be read by me eventually so like I had to get them at some point. And to be fair, it's not like I went out and bought all of these books in one day. It was over time. Starting off with a book that I have had my eye on for who knows how long, but you know, it's one of those books that I've been really iffy about buying for whatever reason, but finally I was just like, you know what? I keep seeing this book everywhere. I just have to settle my curiosity and just give it a go. That would be The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. And the reason why this book caught my attention is because it was compared to two of my favorite series of all time, The Mortal Instruments and The Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. So right there, I was like, yep, okay, that is enough reason for me to be reading this book right now. I don't really know that much about what this book is about. What I do know is that it follows a girl named Echo who lives in New York City and in New York City there is an ancient race of people called, I think it's pronounced the Avacyn. These people are not normal people. They are magic and they have feathers for hair. Echo is one of the only humans that can see these people because she just so happens to have been raised by them. I think that this book sounds really cool. It sounds like just a fun fantasy book that I can probably fly through. Hopefully I will be reading it soon, so keep your eyes out for a review. The next book that I have here is The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepherd. This is a book that I have really wanted to get for a while. Another book that for whatever reason I just didn't get, but I finally got it and it looks so cool. First of all, it is a historical fiction. I have been craving historical fiction lately. It's about pretty much like what the title says. It's pretty much about a madman's daughter. Her name is Juliet and she lives in London. Her father is conducting these bizarre and dangerous experiments on some remote island. Juliet decides to go to this island herself where she ends up becoming very entangled in her father's experiments. And there's a romance and oh, it just sounds so good. Like there's so many contrasting elements within this book that I think will just make such a mind-blowing story and I cannot wait. It just sounds fabulous. The next book, oh my gosh, I am so excited about. That book is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Okay, this book, it sounds fabulous, especially the setting. So the setting of this book, apparently it is a western slash country type setting but with Middle Eastern influences. Now how cool is that? Have you ever read a book with that setting before? Because I haven't and I really want to know what that would even be like. It is a fantasy and it follows a gunslinger named Amani. She is an orphan, she's poor, and the people who are raising her are very very cruel to her. So Amani wants nothing more than to escape her town and her wishes come true and one day a mysterious foreigner offers her an alternative option and she takes this as a method of escaping. This might be one of my favorite covers out of books that have been released recently. I think it's so pretty with its gold accents and the picture that's down here. I just love it. Next, I can barely contain my excitement for this book because I feel like I've been dreaming of finally having this book in my hands for years, but it hasn't been years. It's only been months. It's by one of my favorite authors ever. I finally have it. I don't think I'm going to be able to refrain much longer from reading it. That book is Half-Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Big shocker. Those of you who don't know, I love Jennifer L. Armentrout. The only reason why I haven't read all of her books so far is because I would be really depressed if I didn't have another J.L. Armentrout book to read. I just don't really want that day to come, so I'm pretty much stalling, but it's really hard. It's taking a lot of self-control. To be completely honest, my summary for this book is going to be incredibly lame because I really do not understand what it is about. What I do know is that it is based around people that are descended from gods, I believe, and there are pure bloods and there are half bloods. I just can't wait to read this. I think it's going to be so much fun, so I'm waiting for the perfect day, which is probably going to be very soon because I have waited long enough. The next book, well, funny story, it's another JL Armin Trout book because, well, let me let me defend myself here. This book, Don't Look Back by JL Armin Trout, 
was on sale for a, it was a very good deal at the bookstore. It was only five dollars. So if you were me, you you would have done the same thing. It's about this girl named Samantha who one day went missing with her best friend Cassie, and she comes back into her life remembering nothing. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know how she disappeared or where her best friend is. And meanwhile, it becomes very apparent that there is a reason she doesn't remember anything, and there may be somebody out there. Who does not want her to remember. I just think it sounds like a great book to read one day when I'm bored and I just want to fly through a book in a couple of hours. This seems like the perfect thing for that. The next book is a book that I feel like I've been waiting for for so long but really it's been a year but it feels like so much longer than that. That book is The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. Oh my goodness. This book for those of you who don't know you may recognize the cover because the cover looks very similar to the cover of the first book, The Wrath and the Dawn. The Wrath and the Dawn is a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights and it is very very good. Highly, highly recommended. Look at these two books together. They look so beautiful. I love it. What I love about this cover is that you have here these pretty cutouts and when you open it, you see that the cutouts are of this beautiful picture right here of Shazi, the main character. I love these books because the writing is so lyrical and beautiful and captivating and the characters are so rich and wonderfully developed and the world is just breathtaking. Everything about these books is just so wonderful. Next I have a book that I seriously I should have read this ages ago. I was so excited for its release and for whatever reason I still have not read it. And that book is Truth Witch by Susan Denner. One of the reasons why I really wanted to read this book is because Susan Denner, the author, is the best friend of my favorite author, Sarah J. Mass, which many of you guys probably know. And it is also just it's about everything that I love. It is a high fantasy, my favorite genre, and it focuses on witches, which I love witches. I love witch books. Why haven't I read it? I don't know. But that seriously should change soon because I literally do not have an excuse. Keep your eyes out for a review, you guys, because I will read this book. Next I have a book that I have been talking about a lot on this channel recently but I previously only had the ebook and I just got the hard copy and that is Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Now the reason why I got the hard copy of this is because this has become one of my favorite books. It is about a girl named Gemma who one day is at the airport with her parents when she is tragically kidnapped by this mysterious man and he ends up bringing her to the middle of nowhere in Australia. I will leave a link to the review that I I did on this in the description down below so I can spare you guys all of the raving. You can just go watch it in that video. The next book that I have here, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about. That is Warrior Witch by Danielle L. Jensen. Oh my goodness. The first book in this series is called Stolen Songbird. It's a book that I've talked about a lot. Stolen Songbird is a high fantasy and it is about this girl named Cecile who one day is kidnapped by trolls. If you are a fantasy lover, you should go and read Stolen Songbird. You now have three books available to read. Go and check it out, trust me. Next, I have Haze by Paula Weston, and this is the sequel to Shadows by Paula Weston. So, Shadows is an angel book. It is about a girl who becomes involved with angels. That's all you need to know. Things happen with angels. There's action, there's romance, it's great. Basically bought this as soon as I finished the first book because I loved it so much. So I'm definitely gonna be jumping into this one very soon. Last but not least, I have, in my opinion, the best book of this haul. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Big surprise, I know. I I finally have this book and let me just say that I am already reading it. For those of you who don't know, this is the sequel to A Court of Thorns and Roses and this book is basically it's not a retelling, but it is loosely based off of The Beauty and the Beast. I am vlogging my experience reading this book, and hopefully I will finish it soon, and that vlog will be up. You guys will be hearing all of my thoughts on it. And those are all of the books that I have for today's haul, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I have no 
idea how I'm going to decide which of them to read first. Maybe actually you guys can help me with that. If you guys have a suggestion for which of these I should read first, definitely go ahead and leave that in the comments. With that being said, I am going to wrap up today's video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's haul. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I hope that you all go and have yourselves a fabulous day and I will see you guys next time.